welcome to yet another episode of Stereo Hype TV, live from DCU Studios. If you guys are first time viewers, we have an excellent treat lined up for you guys today. Two of Ireland's most influential young people, no exaggeration. We've got Dulta, who is the owner of the Blind Tiger Clothing Collective, and we've got Marco, who is the owner of the Rude Generation blog, which has taken over the streets of Dublin. No joke either. I'm your host for the most, Daniel Denhe, aka Danny Scenery. Google me if you don't already know. And yeah, basically we're going to get talking to our guests in a minute, but first, we're going to see what our reporter Emma did last week at the Blind Tiger store, where she was there to cover a mixtape launch that was happening last week, so check that out. Hey Dan, I'm here on South William Street. I'm about to go into the Blind Tiger Collective where they're having a mixtape launch on tonight. So we're going to go down and have a look. The Blind Tiger is a collection of Irish clothing brands. It is Dublin's newest streetwear shop full of independent Irish designers. The store has become a popular place for a variety of aspiring artists to showcase their work. The aim of the collective is to give Irish shoppers an opportunity to support their local designers. And doing so with distinctive style and urban swag. Thanks very much, Emma. Wish I could have been there myself because it looked like a pretty swagged out occasion, no doubt. So, we're actually going to talk to Marco right now, who had a hand in organizing that event. Marco, what's up, man? You good? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What do you think? You think of the studio? Are you comfortable? Yeah, man. It's pretty dope here. Pretty man. dope? Yeah. Thanks, man. Love Thanks it. for coming in. So, yeah, I wanted to ask you about the mixtape launch. How exactly did you have the idea for it, and whose was it? Well, it was Chronic's mixtape launch, you know. He's part of our Rude Generation team, like our artists, you know. Well, we. We came up as an idea, all group, like all the RG team came up with it, like, you know, just to put his music out there, you know, so people can hear, you know, and enjoy it. That's great. It looked like a success anyway, for sure. Yeah, man, definitely, man. We got like, I would say like 40 people there, you know, so it was dope, you know. It That's was cool. kind of like a private listening, so everybody loved it, you know. Congratulations, man. And you actually know Dulta through the mixtape launch. Yeah, definitely, man. That's the dude who helped us to organize as well, you know, because yeah. that, that's where it was, you know. Yeah, so uh, Marco just got in touch after seeing a music video that was shot in the shop. So, uh, and he just loved the space and he liked the idea that, you know, we're surrounded by all the streetwear and stuff. So, yeah. that's cool. And obviously, the streetwear would be inspired by urban culture, which obviously would include music. So, it seems like fitting that the two would go hand in hand, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, everything was feeding off itself. And, you know, <coughs> he was there all into the clothes, we were into the music, and it worked. It's, Perfect fit, I think. You know, yeah, it looks, generation it, and Blind Tiger. It looks like a really cool combination. So, are you, do you think you're going to host more like music and stuff there? Yeah, I think we're uh, we're going to plan on maybe doing some battles when we get a chance. Uh, it really depends. We're open to anything, really. That's the main thing with Blind Tiger is that we're open to stuff and want to hear people's ideas, really. That's great. I think it's really important, like to be open-minded, especially these days. Like, there's so much new culture coming up and like new trends developing. I think if you're open to everything and you keep your ears open to what's going on, I think you can definitely go really far. Yeah, definitely. If you want to be on the edge of stuff, you have to be open to things. Okay. So, Marco, um, speaking of like fashion and stuff, you actually have Root Generation clothes. Yeah, definitely, man. It's right here. You can see it. You know what I mean? Well, the inspiration comes from urban, obviously. You know, urban culture. It's all about positivity, you know, and kind of inspire the young people, you know, do more positive things rather than, you know, do all that violence, you know. That's amazing, man. I'm all into the positivity and stuff, definitely. definitely. So, like, do you actually manufacture them in Ireland? Do you get a designer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this other place, you know, we're one of the guys who helps us to print it, you know, so it's manufactured in Ireland, you know, so it's that's Ireland great. grown, you know. Keeping it all homegrown. Product. Yeah, you know, that's how it is. That's nice. Um, and, like, do you have any plans to, like, sell that? Is it for sale? Yeah, it's actually for sale. Yeah, definitely you can get it. on um, If you want to get it, like, you can get in touch with me or any other member of Root Generation team, you know. That's great. And we'll hook you up, you know. Definitely, man. Send me some stuff. Send me Definitely, some man. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, well, <laughs> actually, speaking of fashion, we're actually going to check out one of Ireland's best young designers. His name is Cameron, and his company is The Silver Factory. He's only 15 years old, still an innocent boy, to be honest. But his designs are far from that. He's swagged out all over the place. Emma caught up with him in Shutterbug Shop in Kilkenny last week to see what he's doing these days with his designs and new ideas. So check out Cameron. I'm Cameron Cavallari, I'm 16 and I own the Silver Factory. At the tender age of just 15, Cameron started the Silver Factory. 
His t-shirt line was inspired by his passion for visual design and the arts. I definitely feel that you need to pick your role models wisely, figure out what they, they did, how they got to where they are now and, and do it. You know, I can't really tell you how to be creative, how to, you know, get creative out, creativeness out of you, so I just definitely think you need to kind of sit down and just work. It sounds, it sounds so easy just to say, oh, if you work hard, you'll achieve things, but it's, it's true if you truly sit sit down, work hard at it, and just put everything on it. And then if you fail, you can say, well, I, I did put everything into it. I did work my hardest, and I did um, stay true to myself. God, I don't know where I'm going to be in 10 years. Definitely, hopefully, still having the Silver Factory, it being kind of ex expanded into a bigger, brand, a lifestyle brand, so kind of going into whether it be homeware, um, fragrances, different styles of apparel, jewellery, shoes, um, just kind of making it an international lifestyle brand. Um, I, I, I don't really have, I suppose, like a master plan or a like a written down where I want to be or what I want to do. It, I just kind of, everything seems to snowball itself into something bigger and better so I'm just kind of taking every day as it comes when it comes to the silver factory and just kind of I don't know seeing where where it takes me we were gonna die. so that was Cameron down in Kilkenny with his own brand silver factory I like that stuff man send me some stuff in the post if you get a chance I'll rock it for you the price will probably go up like 10 times you know what I'm saying <laughs> but um yeah so we got Dulta here he's the owner of the blind tiger clothing collective now for people who don't know how exactly did the Blind Tiger Clothing Collective start? Well, I had my own brand anyway already, Project A Apparel, and I just got to the stage where I was thinking, you know, people like myself and people that run brands, they're finding it very hard to get into shops. So the idea was to set up a collective that people could, we could uh, have us act as a force together and, you know, force our way into shops. But then we ended up with our own shop. You That's know? great. And you actually, you started as a pop-up shop, is that correct? You didn't always yeah. have your own premises. Yeah, we started as a pop-up shop just before Christmas. We said we'd give it a go, give it a go for a week. And uh, we opened up a little Green Street Gallery for a week and it went fucking crazy. That's great, man. That's great. So in terms of like finding designers, did you sort of go out and get in touch with designers that you know? Or did designers come to you? Was there some sort of screening process to see who's going to be in involved with it? Uh, first off, it was we were looking for designers and it was quite hard to find people but at the moment now it's people coming to us and we there's a sort of screening process we give everyone a chance the idea is let them have a pop-up in the store for a week see how they do and then we'll help them as much as possible that's great i heard marco is actually trying to see if he can do something with blind tiger is yeah. that correct or is that just rumors yeah yeah we'll see we'll see what yeah, we'll do with we'll them you know you never yeah. know <laughs> word, word around <laughs> town word around town that's going to be <laughs> popping off soon um i wanted to ask you guys what do you think about like urban culture in Ireland compared to like the UK or the US like first off Marco do you think that we still have a long way to go or do you think that we're there in terms of I, I would say yeah you know there is a place for progression but I mean well we're there almost there you know I mean I would, t I would say five years ten years and we'll sure. probably be there you know I mean but, like, you... but we have a lot of great talents man I agree would you agree with that Dulta? I think there's a lot of talent but I think uh, it's giving people a chance and that's what we're hopefully yeah. about you know letting people kind of grow and like showing people how to kind of expand the brand connect yeah, yeah connect definitely yeah, yeah, you know I mean? exactly that's it guys you guys are definitely on the right track thanks a lot for coming in today really appreciate what you guys are doing and uh, yeah good luck with all your future ventures no problem thanks, so, thanks bro that's been another episode of Stereo Hype TV Danny Scenery here hosting. If you guys don't know already, don't believe the hype. Be the hype. Peace out.